my country people, Nigerians don't suspend travel to US, Europe, and Canada as economy tickets don't hit 2.2 million naira. Hey, hey. Wahala, you know the finish. Not be first class, not be business class, not be middle class, the lowest class. Now, now 2.2 million naira. So because of that, people will be in the enter US and Europe and the America like water. If they won't go buy handbag, then go enter. If they won't go uh, any small thing, then just they fly, they enter. Then talk now, say, fear no come, they let them go again because the ticket price don't skyrocket. Hmm. He said, in recent times, Nigerians have had to suspend their travel plans to the United States and Europe as a result of the increase in fares, which has tripled as a result of the high exchange rate of ticket pricing. Now, wow. Hmm. Business days investigations show that an economic class ticket from Lagos to London and Lagos to France and most European countries, which cost around 1.5 million a month ago, is now an average of 1.9 million to 2.2 million naira depending on the airline hey my country people and this one's not the cheap airline so the other airlines now I don't they go three million only to buy tickets hey which way i not gonna know this this december where they come hmm. now god go help us and make make people feel even see money buy tickets they travel he hmm. said, for instance, a Lagos to France economic class ticket on British Airways cost about $2,500 using the 770 exchange rate to a dollar. This cost about $1,900,000. Then Lagos to London economic class ticket on British Airways cost about $2,800, which amounts to about $2,000,000. 15,000 Naira. Hmm. Then Lagos to London economic class ticket on Qatar Airways cost about $2,900 Qatar Airways, which is about 2.2 million 300,000 Naira. Only tickets. You never pay for hotel. You never pay for uh, maybe food and other things. Now, wow. Also, an economic class ticket from Lagos to United States, which costs about $1.7 million a month ago, is currently pricing between $2.2 million and $2.6 million Naira. <laughs> An economic class ticket from Lagos to the United States on Delta Airlines costs about $2.4 million Naira. Hmm. The same ticket on Lufthansa and Qatar Airways cost around 2.6 million naira. So anybody where they prepare to travel, you must hold your ekuje. <laughs> you must hold money to buy tickets. Not be said and say, hey, now wow, this one, if you hear me, oh, a business class ticket from Lagos to London, Lagos to France and most European countries, which cost about 2 million now cost an average of about 2.9 million to 3.5 million naira. Hey, <laughs> wahala, inaugure finish. A business class ticket from Lagos to London on Lufthansa Airline cost about 2.9 million to 3.4 million on Qatar Airways. Also, a business class ticket from Lagos to United States, which cost an average of 2.4 million a month ago, now cost about 4.9 million, almost 5 million on Qatar Airways and 6.9 million on Ethiopian Airlines. Air Morocco appears to have the cheapest ticket on this route, costing, costing about 2.4 million. Okay, all of us go Kukuma face the Air Morocco. Hmm. The cost of airlines from Nigeria to various destinations has seen a sharp rise 
since the exchange rate for ticket price and hit about seven sixty per dollar. The development came a few days after the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, floated the Naira and directed commercial banks to sell foreign exchange at market determined rates. The CBN said all forest windows should be collapsed into investors and exporters window. Days after the decision, the exchange rate has since fluctuated on the International Air Transport Association. Nigerian travelers have quickly had to respond to the increase by suspending their travel plans to Europe and to the United States. Never have tickets been sold so expensive in Nigeria before. However, I buy a Lagos to London ticket for over 2 million. This is more than just a rise. It is exorbitant and I'm sure the average travelers cannot afford this at this time when we have an economic downturn, said Philip Ono. Ono said he had plans to visit his family next month in New York, in New York, but he has had to suspend his travel plans as a result of the rise in ticket. According to him, in fact, I quote him, I could not afford to pay for ticket for my family to come over to Nigeria for summer because airlines has blocked all their low ticket prices on their websites making the cost of fares high. So I plan to go and see them instead to reduce the expenditure on travel. However, to my greatest surprise, when I was ready to book my ticket, I found that tickets had again risen to 2.4 million in the United States. I just have to suspend plans to travel for now. John F. Young, another traveler, told Business Days that he had plans to travel to France with his family during his annual leave in two months' time, but had to cancel the plans because he could not afford the new cost for a ticket. However, Efyong said he would now be traveling to Egypt as alternative because the cost of traveling to Egypt is about three times lower. Okay, all of us go Kukuma face Egypt. If the cost to go there, they lower. Lower than what he would have spent on the cost of France. Okay, Egypt now stay travel now. Now stay abroad. All of us go Kukuma face Egypt. My travel agent had advised that Egypt can be another option instead of suspending our travel plans because there are still low fares to North African countries and its visa policy is quite flexible. Now with Schengen, UK, US or Canada visa, people can travel to Egypt and get their visa on arrival. Okay, my country people, now don't hear them. So if you really want travel this December, begin plan them well, begin think twice because ticket now, now no go area. Thank you very much for watching GMTV. Now Rosalind, they report this one. I beg me could help me share this video so that anybody where they plan go no say it go begin them from today as from the moment when him they watch the video. Thank you.